In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an org chart which can be reused any number of times. As you can see here, the example I've created, a CEO is in the top and then four managers are reporting to him, head of sales, head of marketing, head of IT and finance. And under each head, you've got different employees here. As you can see here, I've added the image and this is completely, you just need to click and the image will be added and then click here, the text will be replaced. It's so simple and you can use any number of times and you can increase or decrease these options. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates, absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, select the slide master. As you can see here, it got different types of the slide. So I'm going to work only with this title slide. When you bring the cursor, it says the title slide layout used by slide number two. Now, the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this existing placeholder columns. Select this both and press the delete key from the keyboard then in the slide master you can see the insert placeholder when i click here i have got a different option i can insert the placeholder of text picture charts etc so currently i'm going to use picture and text so first let me just add a picture select the picture hold the shift key and drag it the how much size you need so i'm going to keep it maybe this one and then you can see here the text is going out for this i'm going to the home and reducing the font size to one because i'm going to insert the picture not the text here okay the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to make it as an oval shape so select this one go to the shape format edit shape change shape and i'm going to select the oval shape like this and the outline i would like to give some outline here you can see your outline and shape fill i'm going to fill some light color okay so i've got this one the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert the text so remember you should not go to the insert and insert the text from here you have to go to the slide master insert placeholder and select the text so draw a small text box like this this is there already so i'm going to select and i'm going to delete and press the backspace button then i'm going to say employee name that font is too much big so go to the home reduce the font size maybe to 14 center align and i'm going to fill this with some different color maybe i'm going to select this green color and i'm going to place it exactly here and send this to back so you can see here this is selected and sent to back now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to bring it here uh, this is uh, say example he is a ceo right so here if you want you can increase the font for ceo also but we can do it later also not a problem so now i'm going to select this one and add uh, three or four different employees to him so or the subordinates to him so press ctrl d bring it here okay hold the ctrl shift key bring it one more here then i'm going to select both of this one again hold the ctrl shift key bring this here so you can see here four employees or four managers have added to this one for that you need to link it so go to the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the connector elbow arrow you can see here the point from this point to this point okay and i'm going to give as a gray color press ctrl d to duplicate again from this point here you need to bring do not keep it here it will come like that so you have to just connect with this small this gray dots okay press ctrl d now here it comes then it will be here again press ctrl d this will be here and then this will come here so you can see here it comes under perfect straight line otherwise what will happen if you do here it will be like this so don't do that one connect it properly the next thing which i would like to do is i would like to add some subordinates under each of these managers so again i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here and here i'm going to reduce the font size to maybe 14 and you can give some different color also maybe i can give some light you can see here the gold color so under him maybe there are four employees i'm going to select this one hold the ctrl shift key bring it down 
then again select both hold the control shift key bring it down now maybe under him there are only two employees so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d and i'm going to bring it like this you can see here you can align it later on but this is already aligned now okay now under him maybe it could be uh, five employees again i'm going to select all of these hold the control shift key bring it like this and one more i'm going to make it hold the control shift key and bring it down here maybe only three employees and i'm selecting these three employees hold the control shift key and bring it here so you can see here some area is going outside so i can just select all and i can just move it also towards the left okay or if it is there i can just move it again here like this also i can move it i can arrange it the way i need okay right once the arrangement alignment is done you can see here our design is all almost ready only thing is we need to add the connecting lines to this also i'm going to select press ctrl d this line this line will come and meet here and this will connect here you can see here again press ctrl d this will come here and this will be here so likewise i just need to add the you can see here is simply you can just click here and do it here the next thing again i'm going to here here and this one if you make it like this it will look like this okay so make it this only bring it here again done right likewise you can just do for the rest also so let me just quickly do one or two only and i'll just show you the other part all right so you can see here like this you can do it and you can just do for the rest of this one so once this is done you need to go to the slide master remember to close the slide master view when i click the close you can see here i don't see anything here all right so what you need to do is you can go to the home tab new slide can you see here whatever we have added it's here title slide just click it here it's all inserted now for me it's very easy employee name i'll just say for example i'll just say ceo and i can just change the font color also i can make it make it white increase the size make it bold whatever i can i can do it with that one maybe i can make it a blue color also the next thing here i'm going to say he's a head of say sales he is a head of marketing i'll say he's a head of it head of it and he says a head of finance all right so the next thing we have to change the the icons or the images here for example if you see here i'm not selecting anything i can just simply go to the insert and i can just select the icons and i can just simply select the employee i'll type employee and i'm going to choose one image and click insert by default it will insert here <coughs> sorry now if i go again to insert icons <coughs> sorry for that and i'm going to type again employee and i'm going to select maybe this one click insert it's inserted by default here or i can just simply click it here and i can just choose any image i want for example i would like to choose the image of uh, some uh, uh, employees or some persons which have downloaded from the internet i can just select and click insert so it got inserted again i can just click the same thing here and i'm going to select a different image maybe i'm going to select this one and click insert the image got inserted and you can just change the employee name to say another some employee employee one for example all right if you want to add also you can just select this one both and you can just hold the control shift key you can add it more right and again if i want to add a new slide simple i can just go new slide and select that one so again one more org chart i can create it as many org chart as you want you can create this with very simple and useful technique and one more thing you can do uh, you can add some animation effects to it so go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one 
and then go to the add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select the basic zoom click ok and here the thing is it's all on click so i'm going to select the co it should come with previous and this also should come with previous so if i play it comes like this all right the next thing again i'm going to select this one the problem is you cannot group it i cannot group it Control g you cannot group the placeholder column remember that okay so again i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effect basic zoom click ok and again make sure that when you're doing this one you need to make it all previous with previous okay so again if i play so this will come the first one then the second one like that you can just add the animation effect to all of these and you can animate the lines as well